Hi Julie here. In this video we're going to go through how to use point color in Lightroom Classic but with using masks. I can use point color without the masks. Um, so for instance in this image here I've got these gorgeous deep ruby burgundy flowers and I've got this cloth here but the color is similar but it's not quite right. So if I grabbed my point color tool and selected this and I could change the color but it's changing it in everything so it's not necessarily what I want to do so what I'm going to do I'm just going to jump back down to here if I go into um, my masking tool and I can just use my brush mask that's fine so if I click on here get my mask tool I'm gonna to go create new mask I'm just gonna use my brush I've already got one here but I just need to brush over that area so if I turn that back on again hopefully you can see where I put my mask it's pretty loose so you don't have to be absolutely perfectionist about it what I can do then now that it's masked I can go down to my point picker tool or my sample point color tool and I can grab that and click on here select the color I can then come into all of the settings I can change the shift of the hue the saturation the luminance I can go into the range if you click on this little thing that brings up the visualize range so you can when it works so for some crazy reason the visualize range won't work in my mask today maybe because I'm recording um, but I've just jumped back into the normal panel but if you click visualize range what it generally does is turn everything in your image to black and white apart from the color that has been selected so you can then alter the range you can play around with all your hues and things in here so um, just jumping back into my mask temporarily um, so once you have got your mask selected um, you'll see it there and you can change the color of your mask you can then um, come in and you can alter different things that you want to do in your mask I'm just going to turn that off so I can see turn that off um, so I can make it more orange I can make it more pink um, I want to really sort of get it to match in more with the burgundy colors that I have here so the other thing that you can do when you're in the masks is if you do have another color selection you can grab your point color and select over here and it will give you that alternative color so it will put it more in the range that you want it to be in and then you can shift your hue saturation and luminance a little more from there so that's it for using the point color in masks um, i hope you have played with that and thanks for watching